Welcome back everybody to Volatility Trading Strategies. Actually, I'm not sure whether this video will fall under my ETF Tactical Rotation Community, VTS, or my Options Trading Community. So just to cover the bases, welcome everybody to VTS Options. All right, can we all agree on two things here? First, the VIX index has reached insane levels in the last few weeks. Not since the financial crisis in 2008 have we seen the VIX index get to such extremes. And actually, the closing price of 82.69 on March 16, 2020 was higher than the highest closing price ever on November 20, 2008. The VIX index is now as high as it was during the financial crisis, and it's still in the mid-60s, which almost never happens. So we can all agree the VIX is in the stratosphere right now. And the second thing we can probably all agree on, we all want to find intelligent ways to short the VIX at these crazy high levels, right? But the million dollar question is, how? If you've learned anything from me over the years, it's that there are ways to short volatility safely and make a fantastic long-term rate of return. And also, there are plenty of ill-advised ways to short volatility that will absolutely blow up your trading account in very short order. So today, I'm gonna go over two trades for you, one pretty basic and one a little bit more advanced that might help you find that sweet spot. Make a little money shorting volatility without turning this great opportunity into calamity by getting too aggressive. So subscribe to the channel below, and as always, the best way you can support my work is just to smash that like button. So go ahead and do that now, and let's talk about ways to short the VIX. I'm going to open up my trading software and show you both of these trades in just a second here. But before we do that, let's just address the elephant in the room. You can't actually short the VIX index. It's not a tradable instrument. It's a cash settled index and there's no way to directly buy or sell it. And if we could directly buy or sell it, then it would no longer function properly. Many of you have probably heard that the VIX index is mean reverting. That is to say, when prices get very low, it inevitably will go higher again. And vice versa, when prices are very high, it will inevitably go back down. The long-term mean, the average of the VIX index since 1990 is 19.21. Now for all my fellow math geeks out there, it's probably more accurate to say the VIX index is mode reverting. This is a chart of all the VIX index values going back to 1990, rounded to the nearest one vol point. And you can see that the vast majority of prices do land in the 12s and 13s. Mode reverting means that it tends to revert back towards prices that occur most often, which mathematically is 12.42, not the mean of 19.21. But mean reverting, mode reverting, whatever. The VIX is in the 60s right now and it's not going to stay there forever. So when we say short the VIX, what we really mean is to profit from its inevitable decline. We know that at some point, maybe in a few weeks, maybe not for several months, but at some point it is going to start coming down. So let's take a look at two trades that take advantage of this. So this here is a one-year chart of the VIX index. And you can see for the last couple of weeks, we've just been bouncing around in that 60 to 80 range. But knowing what we do about the nature of volatility, in two months, it may start heading back down towards that 40 range. Say 30 to 50, somewhere in there. It's probably unrealistic for it to dip really low. I think it would take a lot to see it in the 20s that quickly. The economic impact of the quarantine is gonna be significant. And likewise, it's probably not going to stay in the 60 to 80 range for two months straight either. We'd need some extremely bad news to layer on top of what we already have for that to happen. Now, I'm not saying either one of these outcomes is impossible. Anything is on the table at this point and nothing would surprise me. But I do think we can start trying to find some trades that will capitalize on what is likely to be a slow decline over the next couple of weeks to a lower leg down in volatility. Since, like I said, you can't directly short the VIX, we'll be talking about two option strategies that will accomplish that. The first trade is a basic one, a simple long put vertical on the VIX index. So this is what a long put vertical option looks like. Over here, we have the current value of the VIX index. It's at 65.54, and the details of this trade are down here below. It's a long vertical option spread, which means we're gonna be buying and selling put options of different strike prices, but in the same expiration month. The expiration cycle I've chosen for this trade here is the 20th of May 2020, which expires in 51 days. That gives the VIX nearly two months to calm down. So you can see here we are buying the 40 strike and then selling the 35 strike. And what this does is it caps both the maximum gain and the maximum loss. Long put verticals are limited risk trades and you can only lose the premium you pay to open the contract. In this case, it'll be around $2.55 or $255 per contract. In these very volatile times, 
Remember, it's not out of the question that we see another major volatility spike. That could definitely happen. So I would strongly recommend people only take on defined risk trades with limited loss and in smaller allocation sizes. There's nothing wrong with trying to pick up a little short vol exposure here, but we don't want to get too aggressive with it because we have no idea what's on the horizon. I can't tell you what to do, but just in general, I would say no leverage, no large allocations, and no naked shorting. This trade here is only risking $255 per contract for a potential gain of $245 per contract. And the break-even point 51 days from now is at $37.45. Now an important side note here, remember the underlying instrument for VIX options is not the VIX index, it's VIX futures. It's pretty close, so it's not a huge concern. But just remember that VIX option settlement can be a little weird, so I don't recommend people carry positions into expiration. You can just close them out a day or two ahead of time, just to avoid that VRO settlement voodoo. But looking at this trade in the original chart, the break-even of 37.45 is right about there. So it is in the original range that we're trying to target. Long put verticals are great for newer option traders. They are limited loss, and the win-loss ratio can be structured to be about 50-50 if you want it, so it's very easy to understand the risk. But it's not just for newer option traders. These are also a staple in my own trading as well, and that's the first trade. The second trade is a little more interesting, and it's called a long broken wing butterfly on the VIX index. You've got to love some of these names for option spreads. They sound so cool. So before we talk about the broken wing part of it, this is a standard out of the money long put butterfly. And you can see it's for the same expiration, that 20th of May 2020, 51 days from now. You can see here how it's constructed. The trade sells two of these middle contracts at the 40 strike, and then it buys single contracts on both sides of that, above and below. So we've got the 30 and the 50. And what this does again is it caps the maximum loss. You can only lose the premium you pay to open the contract, which for this trade is $1.80 per contract, about $180. And the maximum gain right there at that middle strike of 40, it is quite a bit higher than the maximum loss. In this case, around $800. So this trade by itself is a pretty good one if the trader thinks volatility will be declining within the next six to seven weeks. The break-evens are around 32 on the low side and 48 on the high side. So it's a pretty wide range. Now again, what we know about the mode reverting aspect of the VIX, at some point it's going to cross through this range. So it really is just about the timing. Now this is where it gets interesting and it will allow you to overlay a little bit of your own market bias on top of that trade. Instead of that standard out of the money long put butterfly, we can do what's called a broken wing butterfly instead. So taking this standard long put butterfly, now let's break one of the wings. So starting with the high side here, let's take this 50 strike and make it 55. You can see what's happened here. By making the wings lopsided, we've transferred all the risk on the downside to the upside. Now instead of potentially losing equal amounts on both sides, all the losses are on the high side. It can still make a nice profit in the middle there, around $950 per contract, but now the maximum loss on the high side is $545 per contract, and on the low side it's just $45, basically nothing. This trade would be appropriate for anybody who thought there was very little chance the VIX stays at these high levels, and actually thought if anything it might overshoot to the downside. If you thought something in the 20s was actually possible by the May expiration, then breaking the butterfly means that if it does dip that low, no losses can occur. Of course, if you're wrong and the VIX stays high, then the maximum loss can be realized, so definitely still keep the allocation size small. But now let's put this back to 50 and get back to the standard butterfly, and then break the wing on the other side. So instead of this 30, we're going to move that one to 25. The same thing has happened here, just the other way. Now you've transferred the risk from the high side and put it all towards the low side. Still a nice profit range in the middle, and very little potential loss on the high side, $55, so basically nothing here. But this trade would be appropriate for someone who thinks there's very little chance the VIX gets down into the 20s. It's still playing for a decline in volatility here, just not too low, maybe you don't think it's going to get all the way over here. Of course it makes sense to transfer your risk to somewhere you don't think it's ever going to get. So we can move back to the standard butterfly here. This is a trade that I actually take quite often, and you can see why it's a good one. You set up a nice wide net for potential future values, with equal, but more importantly, limited loss on either side. So risk management's very easy here, you know what you can lose right from the start. And then like you saw, you can break the wings on either side of this, and move the risk over to one side and eliminate the risk on the other side. If you did have reason to believe that it's not going to breach one of these sides, then the broken wing butterfly might be perfect for you. 
Now, I know somebody in the comment section is going to ask, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer it. Of course, just like you, I have no idea what's going to happen going forward. But if you forced me to choose one direction, I would probably break the wings in this way. I think there is going to be a lot of very negative data coming out. I still think the VIX is going to head towards 40, but I think it's more likely that it stays high. Personally, I think it would take an awful lot of exuberance to get it back into the 20s within two months. So if I was forced to choose one, this is the one that I would do. Nice big range in the middle here. Very little potential loss if we stay high in volatility. And really just watching out for that extremely low VIX values. The fact is, everybody and their dog already knows that at some point the VIX index is going to drop back down to more normal levels. Remember, it is mean reverting, and more accurately, mode reverting. So we will see values in the 12s again, that's a guarantee. The trick is to structure your trade so that you can make a profit all the way down while still minimizing risk. That's what we do in the VTS community. We don't swing for the fences and try to hit those home runs. We're perfectly happy hitting singles and doubles and just racking up the score in the long run. So if you think this kind of analysis can help you make some money, head on over to my website and claim that free trial. You'll see some of my live trades and you can decide whether the VTS community is right for your long-term investing goals. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching the video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my website right here. There's tons of articles and videos on there, as well as a free trial to join the VTS investing community. What have you got to lose? Come see how I personally navigate these unruly markets. See you next time.